before Ballarat. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker, and I rise to congratulate uh, Sovereign Hill, a fantastic tourism facility in my electorate, yeah. who were the national gold winners of the Qantas Australian Tourism Awards uh, on Friday night. It is a terrific accolade, uh, aptly fitting, as the member across the table says, to have a gold award for such a fantastic museum. I want to commend all of the staff there. I do have to declare a slight conflict of interest, as my husband is the HR manager there, but uh, I do have to say that. But the, uh, the Sovereign happy. Hill has uh, managed to pick up this award on three occasions now in 1993, 2005 uh, and now for the 2015 year. Uh, I really want to encourage people. I come across people in all walks of life who will, will tell me, oh, yeah, I've been to Sovereign Hill. I was there as a kid as part of the school program. Uh, come back. There are, the great thing about Sovereign Hill is it is constantly innovating. It's Christmas in July. It's light show, the snow. I take my little boy there each year. The little stalls that are there. It is a fantastic uh, uh, innovation in tourism. Uh, they are really doing great things in China, uh, has it, have expanded the Chinese market, and I do want to say to the staff uh, they are doing a terrific job. It shows that a very small idea, a small group of people in the 1970s got to, together and said, let's build a, a gold museum, let's build a recreation museum here in Sovereign Hill. You'd think you know, at the time they probably people looked at them and thought they were a bit crazy, but what an amazing thing. It employs hundreds of people and congratulations, Order. Sovereign Hill. Well deserved.